there. Today I'm here to discuss another question from NCRT, which is from your exercise 2.2, question number 1, part 1. So let's take a look at the question. So here we have to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x squared minus 2x minus 8. And then we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Two things we have to do here. First, we have to find out the zeros. Then we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. All right. So what we will do here is first, let's find out the zeros because we would require them to verify the relationship. So this is a quadratic polynomial. All we have to do is just the middle term splitting of this, right? Middle term splitting is very simple. We all know how to do this. That's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. Now we are going to take common from the consecutive term. So that's going to be x would be common from here. So this would be x minus 4 plus 2 x minus 4. So we get two factors, which is x minus 4 x plus 2. Now to get the zeros, we have to equate each one of them with 0 and we get the values of x that is 4 and minus 2, which is nothing but these are the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. Now coming to the next part where we have to verify the relationship. So for that, what we will do here is first of all, there are two relationships. The first is sum of zeros. Let's find the sum of these zeros. So 4 plus minus 2, that's going to be 2. Similarly, we'll verify we will check for the other relationship that is product of zeros. That's going to be 4 times minus 2, which is minus 8. Now, if you talk about this polynomial, if I compare it with the general form of the quadratic polynomial, that is ax squared plus bx plus c. So from here, nothing is written. So a is going to be 1, b is going to be minus 2, and c is going to be minus 8. We are just comparing it. So these are the values for a, b, and c. Now, all we have to do is, we have to check for sum of zeros, which is minus b by a. That's how we verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Coefficients over here in this general form of the quadratic polynomial, you can see that's a, b, c. Similarly, here the coefficients are, are 1, minus 2, and minus 8. Now, so minus b by a from here, it's going to be minus of minus 2 by 1, which is 2. And product of zeros would be minus 8 by 1, that's minus 8. And you can see that sum of zeros over here, that is same. Product of zeros is also same. So, hence verified. That's all from my end. Thank you and do let me know in the comment section how you like the video.